Hi, my name is George Polinart. In this video I will introduce you to Swingbench, which is a Java-based load generator for Oracle Database. We will be installing Swingbench on a Linux server and will create SOE Schema, which is the test order entry schema, on a 12C rack database with ASM storage. You can download Swingbench from www.dominicgiles.com. In the screen you can see that I am connected to my rack database using Toad. I am connecting using scan IP of the cluster and on port 1521. Now, let us connect to our application server which is a Linux 764-bit server. Open a web browser and go to www.dominicgiles.com forward slash downloads.html. Now, click on the hyperlink as seen in the screen to download the latest swingbench.zip file. Once download is completed, close the web browser and open a terminal session. Now we will create a directory called swingbench to install the application. I will put this directory under forward slash app. Then copy the swingbench.zip file from downloads directory to the newly created directory. Now, we will unzip the swingbench.zip file. To do that, cd to forward slash app forward slash swingbench. Then issue command unzip space swingbench.zip as shown in the screen. Now, we will verify that Java is installed. To do that, issue to command java-version version. Once Java version is verified, navigate to bin directory located under swing bench directory. This is where all the packages are located. Now we will initiate the OE wizard. OE stands for order entry. This is done by typing dot forward slash OE wizard and hit enter. Once the welcome screen of order entry install wizard pops up. Click on the next button. Here we choose version 2.0 and click next button. In the select task screen. We choose create the order entry schema and click next button. In this screen we will provide the connection information of our database. In my case we provide the scan name of the rack cluster and port is 1521. Then the database service name gspdb.gsp.com. We will leave connection type as is which is JDBC thing client. Then provide password for sys user. Then click the next button. In this screen we will leave the schema name as SOE. Then provide a password. The table space name will remain same. Since we are using ASM as our storage we will provide the ASM disk group name which is plus dg under bar data under bar 01. If you are not using ASM here you have to type in the operating system file location and data file name. Now click the next button. Here, for the drop down for partitioning model we will choose hash partitioning. Then change table space type is normal table space. Then we will choose all indexes. Then click the next button. For this demonstration purpose we choose 1 gigabit as our sizing and click next. We will leave the level of parallelism as 2. Then click finish. I will ignore the space issue warning for my temp table space. As I know it's auto extensible and can go till 32 gigabytes. This will start building the order entry schema. I will fast forward it till the end. As it will take 10 to 15 minutes. 
it will go through a bunch of SQL scripts that will create user SOE in its objects and then populate the tables with data. Now that our schema creation is completed, we will get back to Toad and check a couple of things. Under the schema SOE, we can see there are a couple of tables created and a bunch of them have partitions. Now we will simulate a real life application load to the database using Swingbench. Add the command prompt run dot forward slash Swingbench to start the Swingbench GUI. The GUI has three main sections. One for connection information. Another for scaling the application and another for controlling the application behavior. In the connection section we will leave the username as SOE. We will type in the password for SOE user. Then the connection string to our rack database. We will leave the number of uses as 1 for now. Then begin the load test by clicking the green play button. The events tab will show that we logged in successfully. Then the graphs will show transactions per minute that's happening in the database. While Swingbench is simulating load on the database, we will use Toad to figure out what's happening I on the DB side. In the session browser, we can see that there is one user connected to database from app server, where our swing bench is running. Now let's get back to the app server. And stop the current simulation. Now we will save this simulation for future runs. To do that, click on the file button. Then click on Save Benchmark as button. Here we will give a name. And click on the Save button. Now we will increase the number of users to 4. Then we will change some transaction behavior. We will lower customer registration to 5%. Then update customer details to 20%. Then we will start the simulation by clicking the green play button. Once the simulation is started, it will take a couple of seconds for the graphs to reflect the changes. Now when we look at the session browser in Toad we can see, there are four users connected to database from our app server. And each session will be running different SQL statements. Now we will stop this simulation and will save it for future runs. Then I will demonstrate how to run a saved simulation. Let's close the swing bench and start it again. Once started, we will click on File Menu. Then click on the open bookmark button. Then choose a simulation that we saved before, and click open. Now it's just a matter of clicking the green play button. This will start the simulation. At this point I will suggest you to play with the tool and explore different features. In the chart type we have the drop down to choose different chart types. Before concluding I will show you one more thing. To get host CPU and disk info in the charts, go to tab distributed controls as shown in the screen. Then type in your host name, username and password. Then test the connection. Once connection is successful, stop and restart the simulation. Wait 1 to 2 seconds and you'll have your CPU and disk I.O. load captured.
With this we conclude the training on swing bench. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video.